right, Spartan fans, Joe Cook here once again with head coach Anthony Evans on his basketball team. Practice just wrap, wrapping up. And how, how they look up here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> a lot of improvement, though. Need a lot of improvement. A lot of improvement. Well, one of the things that the Spartans were improving upon was, was the record. Any, any the losing streak, you know, over uh, Howard, 76 68. Um, everyone really got involved in offense and defense, and, and Rob and Kyle pretty much led the way there. They did. They did. They did a good job of getting into the game early when Kyle was inserted into the game, made himself effective. Um, having Christopher Keechin back is a great thing because he's a perimeter threat. You know, he didn't score a lot of points, but just having his presence on the floor was important. I think it was all around good game, balance wise. Yeah, it really was. Um, and uh, is it a sign of, I guess, uh, maturity or growth, you know, this late in the season when the team you know, goes out and, and wins a game that they're, they're, they're supposed to win? Well, it is. It is. You know, but I think for us, every game that we play from now on is important. You know, we emphasize that to our team. Um, I don't think it was the prettiest game in the world for us, but we were able to get the win, and now we can make some improvements going into the next one. All right. You know, these last five games here, three to five at home, by going to the last road trip of the season, you know, um, we're in the middle of the Packer Conference at 566. So, so at this point, you know, the emphasis is really on finishing really strong. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we want to be in the top five so we can get that box. And that's going to be important. And there's going to be a lot of changes, a lot of, you know, flip flopping because guys are going to lose here, win there. So it's going to be a tough race going down here. All right, and let's see if we can. Uh, Capitalize on, on this road trip, the uh, teams that we've beaten before, uh, North Carolina Central and uh, South Carolina State. First meeting against Central, three-point win there. But we know two dominant guards, C.J. Wilkerson and Landon Clement, you know, three-point shooter. Luke Pauline really uh, chasing him around that first half. Uh, most of Clement's points in the second half. We're going to contain him. Uh, looking toward like the same defensive matchup or maybe another wrinkle? Yeah, pretty much. I, I think we have to do a better job of on Wilkerson. He was able to get to the basket, get to the free throw line. Those are things we have to uh, eliminate in order to go down there and be successful. And I guess another guy that's kind of merged recently for them is Nick Chastain, getting, the, getting just under 12 points a game. He seems to be like their, their cleanup man. You know, Clement and, and Wilkerson, you know, off shot, he's pretty much there, uh, energy and really active on the boards. Well, he was, he was a guy averaging 10 points a game the last time we played him, so he's up his average a couple of times. So, you know, he's a threat. You definitely have to get, do a good job on the boards on him, but he can step out and hit the three as well. So we've got to play solid defense. Good defense again the first time we scored four points in the first meeting. But uh, dealing with the central team coming off an uh, emotional, emotional win to beat Coppin State at the buzzer. Um, Coppin losing a lot of games for, you know, a basket or two. But you're basically going to an environment where teams really got some confidence. Yeah, I mean, they play well at home, you know, obviously, and they have two guys. Uh, averaging double figure points, the three guys averaging double figure points. So we have to go in there, play defense, and be solid. Um, and next game, South Carolina State, first time, 84 61, under the lights of ESPNU, where Kyle really shined along that, uh, that first half. First half blitz there, but defensively, um, we held them 35% shooting and forced 17 turnovers. Um, they haven't won a road game in the 6 and 6, so basically, uh, Playing the team that really has nothing to lose. So, you know, what scenario going in there when they just, hey, it doesn't matter to us? Well, I mean, they're, they're home this time, you know, yeah. they're not away. So, it's a matter of us going in, playing defense, knocking down our free throws, and you know, being focused the whole 40 minutes. It's definitely, it's definitely. Um, uh, I remember in that, in that first game, you know, you know, a 20 point win for Bassanio Bell led them to scoring. He was able to exploit, exploit the high post uh, in the zone, able to hit some. Uh, some mid range jumpers there. And depending on what kind of zone you're in, you know, the high post is young, you put you, I guess, in the weak area. But how would we make it strong knowing that we did that in the first game? Well, knowing that he's a threat, we've got to you know, identify him when he's in the middle of the zone. You know, not so much, we've got to pay all the attention to him because they have guys on the perimeter with the shot. But we have to be cognizant of where he is, you know, when he's in the middle of the zone, put the hand up, making him make decisions rather than being finished. Definitely, and uh, you know they're they're on a four-game losing streak, and you know I guess as a defensive-minded coach going in, you know they lead the MIAC in turnovers, so it's kind of like you know chopping at the bit here to make sure they stay stay that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean we want to create turnovers, but we don't want to just look at their ranking and go crazy and try to get every steal and every trap. We have to play our game, be aggressive, and let the, the, the steals and turnovers come. All right, let's hope the 
steals and turnovers do come because when that happens, we get in transition and the Spartans do very well in transition. For more on Instruments Men's Basketball, as always, instruments.com.